Studying engineering or another STEM degree is not easy. In fact, sometimes it can be a straight up pain in the ass. Hey everyone, my name is Jake. I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm here with the first hand knowledge that you need to get any degree you want. And today we're going to talk about how difficult it is to get an engineering or STEM degree. And then I'm going to try to convince you why that's actually a good thing. So before we get into it, I'll ask you to do all that YouTube stuff, subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, leave a comment with your thoughts and maybe questions you have for me and hit that notification so you don't miss any future videos. That stuff really helps out the channel. And if you're looking for the, the true roadmap for absolutely anybody to get an engineering or STEM degree, be sure to check out my book. It's available in ebook and paperback right now, and I'm working on the audio version. I'll put a link for it in the description. Thanks for the support. Okay, so studying engineering or some other STEM degree is freaking hard, right? Yeah, but how hard is it really? Well, let's look at the data. According to the American Society for Engineering Education, the dropout rate for engineering school is a whopping 40%. That means that for every 10 students that begin engineering, only six make it all the way through. And if you search online, it doesn't really matter what list you're looking at, engineering is usually always at the top of the list, or at least in the top five most difficult majors, with the rest being other STEM disciplines. And just to be clear, when I say engineering, I'm referencing all engineering disciplines. The question is, how can you really measure difficulty? So most sources use two metrics, GPA and average time spent studying outside of school. And when you compare all degrees against each other, engineering and STEM disciplines had the lowest GPAs and the highest amount of time spent outside of school. None of what I've said so far is super revolutionary. You already knew that studying engineering and other STEM degrees is a challenge, is very difficult, right? You didn't need me to prove that to you. Um, in fact, some of you might actually feel a little discouraged at this point, which is why we're gonna shift gears and I'm gonna convince you that the fact that they are challenging is actually a very good thing. Because I think there might be a fair amount of you out there who are interested in science and engineering, but are turned off or you know a little intimidated by how challenging they are. And that really kind of gets to me. Uh, I think the world could use a lot more engineers, scientists, and innovators. You know, there's a lot of big problems out there that still need solving. So I hate the thought of, you know, would-be great engineers and scientists being turned away or turned off or avoid uh, studying these things just because of how challenging they are. So that's why I'm going to try to convince you of the opposite. Okay, so here we go. I want you to imagine two trees. The first tree is in a protected greenhouse and the second tree is outside totally exposed to the elements. The first tree is watered on a daily regular schedule and is constantly protected from wind, rain, and other weather. However, the second tree is left to develop completely on its own. It only drinks when it rains and it's totally exposed to the elements throughout its whole life. Over time, both trees grow and appear very similar. But which tree do you think grew stronger? Which tree do you think could withstand 100 mile an hour winds or endure a drought? Mm, it's the outside tree. If you guess the outside tree, you are correct. It's well known that trees respond proportionally to what their environment throws at them. So. If they don't have enough water, their roots will grow deeper and wider until they find moisture. And if strong winds threaten their stability, they'll compensate by growing stronger and more flexible. Essentially, the more stress they encounter, the more resilient and robust they become. So I make that analogy to demonstrate how important it is to not shy away from stressful and difficult situations because your ability to overcome and endure difficult things is directly proportional to what you have already endured and overcome. This will be freshman you and this will be senior you. 
but in tree form. You get it, right? So I hope you followed that analogy, but the main point I'm trying to make here is that as you continue to face and overcome difficult and challenging situations in your life, your perception and your definition of what is actually difficult will change and grow, right? So as you begin to study uh, engineering or some other STEM degree, what you define as difficult and challenging will begin to change. What, you know, by the time you're at the end of your degree, Something that was difficult to you at the beginning will now seem very par for the course. So the fact that studying engineering or STEM is more difficult than studying some of these other degrees shouldn't scare you, okay? It should motivate you, right? Because this is the type of challenge that can really transform who you are. It can really change you and mold you into a more robust and resilient version of yourself. You know, it really has the power to open your eyes to what you're truly capable of. And perhaps the best part about achieving huge challenges like this is that the benefits will translate across all other areas of your life. You know, what you once thought was a really difficult task at work won't be so daunting anymore. Or what you once thought was a really hard project at home won't be so overwhelming. And you know, what you once thought was totally unachievable in the gym will be totally attainable now. The benefits are everywhere. Your perception of what is actually difficult will change for everything. You know, your, your mental capability to break down and process large daunting tasks will increase. You won't become as overwhelmed as easily and you will be able to efficiently dissect large intimidating projects into small bite-sized chunks, you know, because now through your experience, you will know these things are possible. And I think the main point here is that having this characteristic, being changed in this way, um, will make you so much more valuable to any employer. But more importantly, it'll make you much more valuable to yourself. I'm kind of a big deal. So when it comes down to it, you should really be seeking out and looking for these types of challenges, right? Because they have the ability to change you and transform you like really nothing else can. Their overarching benefits uh, through all other areas of your life are really priceless, right? So it's okay to be nervous, it's okay to be a little bit intimidated in the beginning, but you should not let those feelings guide your decisions. I think the last thing I wanna say about this is, you know, life is pretty short and in the end, do you think you'll look back and be happy about the times you took the easy road or do you think you'll look back and be happy and proud about the challenges you overcame and the times that you took the path less traveled? So there you have it. I hope if you're interested in engineering or some other STEM discipline, you know, I hope this video kind of changed how you thought a little bit. I hope it helped you um, and kind of changed your mind about, you know, the challenge of studying a degree like that shouldn't be a scary thing, but it should be a motivating thing, right? But that's it for now. So thanks for watching and keep up the good work.